A warm welcome to everybody listening. This is Bernd Jene. I am one of the members of EMVA's board of directors and the chair of the 1288 standard. This globally accepted standard is for objective characterization of cameras and recently release 3.1 has been published and with a number of short video messages, we are going to explain you the highlights of this globally valid standard. Today, I will introduce to you the new summary data sheet, which was introduced with release 3.1 of the 1288 standard. On a single page, which is organized for all data sheets in the same way, you can now do a side-by-side -side comparison of cameras. Let me explain you what you all find uh, on uh, this uh, data sheet. The first column on top of the summary sheet describes the so-called operating point, which gives you all the parameters so that it's easy to repeat the measurements uh, done again. Then the summary sheet contains the two most important graphs. The first curve is the photon transfer curve, which shows you the variance of the temporal noise versus the mean digital Quay value. The second one shows you the signal to noise ratio as a function of the number of photons uh, used for the exposure. Then on a column on the right side, all EMVA 1288 parameters are listed. It starts with the three basic parameters, which come directly from the linear camera model on which the standard is based upon. This is first the quantum efficiency, that means how efficient photons are converted into charge units. Then it is the system gain. And finally, the important other noise source, the dark noise, uh, which is listed as a third parameter. A fourth important parameter is that each camera also reaches a saturation. And from these three parameters and the saturation capacity, you can uh, finally derive all the other parameters which are on uh, the list. You have also, in addition, all the parameters describing the non-uniformity uh, of the camera, because not each pixel is the same as the other. 